Sikkim has always been blessed with heritage handicrafts and handlooms. Ever since the days of the monarchy, Sikkim's handicraft has never been in the spotlight. According to Ms. Chimmy, the journey of Laxell Studios began on a journey when she took in the countryside, coming across numerous local artisans who were struggling to get their products sold. Having a background in fashion design and fueled with the goal in mind to highlight Sikkim's handicraft, Ms. Chimmy recounts the initial days of Laxell design as wanting to incorporate fashion elements to give Sikkim's handcraft a modern twist for a greater appeal through customization and greater attention to detail. Along the way, the studio has evolved into a digital e-commerce website for exposure at a national level. I hate to do regular things like in a childhood also, so I just, I went for like uh, after school, I went for college, like fashion designing, then NIFT. And after NIFT passed out, I was working there in intern, like as a like one, almost six months, like I, in, as an intern, I worked there in Calcutta. So I worked with a big fashion house that we did, like fashion show, like all here and there, the whole fashion nitty gitty here and there. So. I came back here in the same 2010. So I, I came for a vac vacation. In a, it's a more like a vacation. I came back home for a vac like short period. So I went Rabangla side, like South Sing, and my sister stays there. So on the way, I just so I saw something that stuck my mind. So I thought of like I wanted to start do wanted to do something in my own place and. That's how this Luxel born. And I'm just talking about 2010 and 11. Uh, there's there's no fashion this thing. Here the people are not the conscious about the fashion, whatever they get. Then it's slowly, it's gradually. There's some. I have like some friend, those who are looking some customized things and all those kinds. So slowly, it's gradually. I'm just getting up. Then later, I just thought about just I'm more interested in a product designing rather being in this apparel designing. It's a lark means handcraft. It's in Bhutia. It's a lark means hand and sell means craft. So I, I wanted to like more focus like Sikkimis and the whole entire Northeast is a like uh, we have like heritage of handicrafts and this handlooms and all. They are beautiful, abundant but there's somewhere I felt it's lacking you know. We are not doing it's not exposed properly it's not designed properly we are working with our uh, artisans and we are our craftsmen we are taking along with them with us in our success also so right now we are working it's almost 200 artisans and what we are doing it's like we are contributing more sustainable future and wha what we are doing it's like i'm just the uh, more educating people that how the harmful plastic is that if you can replace the plastic like in everyday use we can use a bamboo toothbrush and we are just giving alternative to the plastic as a bamboo and the paper waste papers we are converting the future plan we have uh, i have like this we already have an e-commerce website we are selling like all over the india and now we are just targeting like internationally also we have like now new venture my this cash collective like i have a partner we are setting up like a bamboo processing unit in the sikkim only so we have like merged the laxel and the cash collective so we want it in a bigger scale so when i'm talking about like a bigger scale the the digit will be the six figure or seven figure that earning that kind of targeting we are looking for the next uh, right now it's a construction everything is set uh, like process is going on so maybe like uh, end of this year will the uh, product will be in the market you know what we are doing it's we are going like villages like uh, outskirts like, like uh, traveling for the far villages and to encourage people to grow bamboo and just train them like the how you can convert that bamboo into product we are doing a training to them i'm doing i go like every like one month like a, a 10 days i go like more like outskirt of like sikkim we are not talking about like uh, profitable business only so what i'm earning i'm just giving back to society also that is like i need to balance 
uh, the educating people is uh, adding a value to the society i guess like that is my aim main aim Luxel Studios as of now has expanded towards a bamboo processing unit along with skill based training camps for artisans and craftsmen for better output and sustainability. Luxel has always aimed at empowering local artisans through skill development and education creating unimagined possibilities for the remotest of the artisans in the state of Sikkim.